Mix and Go ELISA kits are designed to perform with most natural and recombinant protein A constructs and incorporate the revolutionary single-step sample treatment procedure. These Cygnus Technologies kits also reduce the complexity of the assay, as well as time to result, all while increasing the robustness of the method over traditional protein A ELISAs. For first-time users, we recommend trying our Mix and Go kits as they are the most robust and easy to use Protein A kits on the market. The F610 uses standards calibrated to unnatural constructs such as MAB Select Sure, while the F600 uses standards calibrated to natural and conserved Protein A. Cygnus Technologies also offers mix-and-go kits for Protein A resins from JSR, TOSO, and Kaneka. This video will demonstrate proper techniques for performing a mix-and-go assay. Let's begin by reviewing the sample treatment procedure. First, prepare the initial sample dilutions as required prior to sample treatment. Then, transfer them to the appropriate wells of the sample treatment plate. All subsequent dilutions to be assayed can be made in the sample treatment plate using Mix and Go sample diluent. You will need to ensure that the final volume in every well is 100 microliters. Now, Add 100 microliters of the kit standards and controls to the wells. Then, add 50 microliters of mix and go denaturing buffer to each well and immediately mix. For example, if the replicates are in A1 and A2, position the multi channel pipette horizontally when adding the mix and go denaturing buffer. Mix by pipetting up and down approximately 15 times. For best results, mix quickly to avoid creating bubbles in the sample treatment wells. It's very important to mix immediately after each pipetting action. For example, add the denaturing buffer to row A and immediately mix, then move to row B and repeat. Use fresh tips for each addition, and then incubate on the bench for 5 to 10 minutes. Next, pipette 100 microliters of the antiprotein AHRP detection antibody into each well of the antibody-coated microtiter plate. Then, Pipette 25 microliters of the denatured standards, controls, and samples into wells indicated on your work list. When finished, cover the plate and incubate on an orbital shaker at 400 to 600 RPM for one hour at a room temperature of 24 degrees Celsius plus or minus 4 degrees. After one hour, dump the assay plate into a large sink or appropriate container, and then blot the assay plate over absorbent paper. Be sure to gently but firmly tap the assay plate to remove most of the residual liquid. Aggressively banging the plate or the use of vacuum aspiration devices to remove all residual liquid is not necessary and may cause variable dissociation of antibody-bound material. This can result in lower ODs and less precision. Next, fill the wells generously, overflowing them with a diluted wash solution. You can do this by using a squirt bottle or by pipetting in approximately 350 microliters. Then, dump the wash solution into the sink. Gently but firmly tap the assay plate again to remove residual liquid. Repeat this process for a total of four washes. 
When finished, quickly wipe off any liquid from the bottom outside of the microtiter wells, as any residue can interfere in the reading step. Make sure to not allow the wells to dry before the next step of adding substrate. Immediately after completing the washing process, pipette 100 microliters of TMB substrate into each well. Then, incubate on your bench at room temperature for 30 minutes. Do not shake during this 30-minute substrate incubation period, as it may result in higher backgrounds and less precision. Finally, pipette 100 microliters of stop solution into the wells. With this, the microtiter plate is ready for the spectrophotometer. The plate should be read at 450 and 650 nanometers. With all Cygnus products and methods, our technical support team is available to assist you in the successful qualification of our products for your analytical needs. To connect with our experts, visit us online at CygnusTechnologies.com. Complete our technical support form and we'll promptly respond to your inquiry.